The gun should be perfectly in line with your arm. Howdy y'all and welcome back. Let's talk about this. The gun should be perfectly in line with your arm. So I reach down and perfectly in line with my arm. And I draw and I present. It's perfectly in line with my arm, right? That's how I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna turn my body. <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> now, for one-handed shooting, yes, solid stuff, mostly. Where this came up was a friend of mine has a little bit smaller hands and is having trouble getting a nice finger position on the trigger of a Glock 19. And that's because he's trying to get the hand in line with the gun and around here. And so that's making the trigger finger come up a little short. And what I suggested was to adjust a little bit, bring the hand around a little, just a little, not, you know, you're not grabbing it fucking sideways or anything, but just a little to give yourself a little more finger, right? So the point of that, that I'm trying to make here is that when you come into isosceles, the gun is, this is nowhere, that's my grip right there. Hopefully that comes up on camera. I'm not in, that my arm and the gun are not remotely in line anymore. Uh-uh. When I go into isosceles, that's going to allow, if I need to ooch over just a little more, that's okay. I've got that. I've got all kinds of room to come out just a little bit. So if I come out of the draw, I'm just going to grab a little farther around the gun. Now, if I need to shoot one-handed, is that going to be problematic? This isn't bullseye shooting. If I'm drawing this gun from concealment to defend my life, chances are we're going to be in a pretty tight space. I'm going to be probably inside of five yards, probably inside of three yards from the attacker. Can I get hit if I don't have the perfect master grip from that distance? Probably. I'm probably, I may not have time to come up on my sights. I don't know. Every, every gunfight plays out differently. The point of this video is can we, I'm not going to go quite as so far as to call it FUD lore, but it's kind of close. It's kind of lore adjacent <laughs> to this idea that you have to have a perfect, it's going to be perfectly in line, the arm with the gun. Like maybe if we go back to the eighties and we're shooting, is that? If I'm, if I'm Mel Gibson and lethal weapon, maybe I'm, I'm okay. That's, that's pretty straight alignment. I get that. Uh, another example, and this is a K frame, so it's not even a big full size revolver. Uh, it definitely, I don't have the longest fingers in the world. Uh, and to get, so I get about the right position if I'm behind the gun on a K frame. On an in frame, that's a stretch for me. And I have to grip it a little differently and bring that hand around just a little bit so that I can get to that first, uh, first knuckle. So every gun is gonna be different. Every gun is gonna be, every hand is different and every gun is different. And you cannot make a weird rule like, you, have, you must keep the, stop that shit. <laughs> Find what works for you. Arm placement, hand placement, finger on the trigger placement. If you are missing shots, if you are missing consistently low and left or low and right or up and left, you are probably flinching. That is probably what you're doing. Probably. Fix that first. Fine tune the grip later. All right, y'all. Rant over. <laughs> Until next time, be easy, y'all.